I understand that this is not a court, but people are really upset about what they think they're seeing here. You say she didn't kill, kill the granddaughter. Please tell us. Why not? Uh, Miss Gerard uh, loved her granddaughter as she loved all her other grandchildren and her children. Uh, uh, Joyce and Savannah were extremely close, and under no circumstances did Joyce Gerard cause the death of her grandchild. Danny, we, Mr. Bone, we heard from a neighbor who said that her daughter was feeling bad for this little girl because she was punished repeatedly by having to carry sticks and run. That made her feel bad for the little girl. What about that? From what I understand, there were no signs of, of abuse uh, at the school. There were no signs of abuse anywhere. Uh, even a day or two before this incident took place, the Child Advocacy Center came to uh, Carlisle Elementary School, uh, talked about abuse, different types of abuse with these children, and again, uh, Savannah had uh, no signs. Savannah had uh, no indications of any type of abuse. Well, I don't about no indication. She's dead. And she died, and she, and my understanding, the autopsy report, she had severe hypothyroidism. Well, you know, I think you, probably, very low pro sodium. I think you probably understood I meant prior to her death. Okay. Kelly is a caller. She's joining us from Ohio. Kelly, go right ahead. Hi, Dr. Drew. Kelly. I'm on the fringe here. I'm a hardcore, kind of old school parent myself. Mm -hmm. But to do this to a child, let alone your own grandchild, I mean, it's irreprehensible. I wonder. How well she'd fare if we sent her out to run like that. My question is, though, how did this woman's child ever make it to adulthood to provide her with a grandchild? Because she appears to have no idea what she did. So, Pat, this would, this would go out to Pat. Pat, I'm going to let you answer that question. Pat is a criminal profiler, and she's asking a question. Is this, would this have been a pattern, or is this something, an outlying behavior we're seeing here? It's an absolute pattern. I, this lawyer is full of it because nobody just wakes up one day and tortures their grandchild to death who loved her child and was a good caretaker. That's garbage. There were many ways she could have punished the child. She could have made her wash dishes. She could have made her write a little a story about how you don't lie. The other ways that normal parents and grandparents t train and discipline children, they don't torture them to death. And they don't say up front, I'm going to make her run till she drops. That is sadistic. And the problem in this life is that nobody took enough care of this child. Her biological mother lost custody. Her father remarried some other whack job, which is the stepmother who's up for charges. He leaves the, her daughter with that woman and his mother, who he had to be, he, he grew up with that woman. He had to know what kind of woman she was. But he left her with these people. And there's no way this just started overnight. There's a pattern of this. And I'm, I'm curious whether she used a methodology that wouldn't show up, you know, no bruises on the body. That way you can torture the child quietly and privately. And you never get caught for it until your chi the child just drops over dead. Mr. Bone, your reaction? This child was a very happy child. This was, child was very well cared for. As far as uh, the allegation uh, that this child was, uh, that some other form of punishment should have been used, uh, as far as running goes in the state of Alabama, uh, the boot camps use running as uh, d d disciplinary measures. Um, some of the local uh, hospitals for youths in our area do the same. DHR this recommends This is a nine-year-old. Excuse me, sir. This is a nine-year-old. Nine-year-olds don't go to boot camp. And even in boot camp, they know enough to Excuse give Excuse me, ma'am. I didn't realize child. you knew this child. You seem to know a lot Hold about this second. child that the you've never met. The child's nine. The child's nine. You don't put a child at nine years old through boot camp, and you don't not give her any water while she dehydrates to death. That's a it, garbage thing to say. That's ridiculous. Hey, ma'am, well, have, have, have you seen the uh, have you seen the in fact the, uh, boot camps have gotten that in trouble says that for she was uh, over real serious trouble and not dehydrated. She then was not, made, well. You don't they, know that she. You know oh, she so was ex, so had excess camp, water. Hang on, guys. Hang on. I'm gonna explain that in a second. Mark Iglars, I saved a I saved a Facebook for you. Here it is. Mark, you ready? A right. new defense attorney is a smoking crack and can't see through the smoke, in my guess. Uh, eye for an eye, well, she's asking for. Hold on. Mark, how do you react to that? Mr. Bone well, is trying to do his job. Mark, what do you say? Well, I respect Mr. Bone for doing his job, but don't lump us all together. I don't know that my position would be 
that what they did was okay. My position is different than Mr. Bowen. From what I see, there's no justification for having children run for three hours the way that it was done. And I do believe that that constitutes child abuse and they should go to prison. Where we part company with the rest of the public is I happen to have read cases involving parents who kill their kids. And this just factually Mark, is stop. different than those I've that warrant the death penalty. That's all. Got it.